This is Pepe Styling here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be making this beautiful shirt dress. Okay. Okay. First off, to start off, we're going to be marking out 2.5 inches. This will serve as our button allowance. If you're new to the channel, you're very much welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for sticking with us. Okay. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. So here I'm marking out my shoulder to bust point, shoulder to waistline and seam allowance, okay? I'm also doing the same thing across here. Then I'm just going to connect with a straight line. Our bust point, we're going to come up by 2 inches. This will serve as our chest line, okay? I'm just going to level it, chest line, bust point, waistline, and seam allowance. So on the shoulder, we're going to be imputing our shoulder measurement. Shoulder divided by 2. The shoulder I'm working with is 16 inches, divided by 2 is 8. So I'm just going to mark it like so. Next, I'm going to be marking out our neck. The neck width I'm working with is 2 and a half, and the neck depth is 3 inches. For the neck width, if you're on a plus size, just make it 3 inches, okay? Okay, so coming over to this point, I'm going to go down by 1 inch. This will serve as our shoulder slope, okay? And also on this part, we're going to divide it into two, mark out the mid point, coming by half an inch, and then the next like so. Get our arm hole called. Next, to insert our dart, okay? We're going to divide our bust span by two. Please take note our measurement is starting from here, okay? okay so, the bust span I'm working with is eight divided by two is four. So, I'm just going to mark that four inches like so and then connect okay so from our waistline we're going to be taking marking out 0.75 on both sides of the line and then we'll come over to our bust point we're going to come down by one inch okay and then we'll co connect to form our dart now we're going to Impute our body measurement. So here I'm marking out my bust divided by four. Okay, and on the waistline I'm marking out my waist divided by four, round waist divided by four. So here I notice that my dart reaches because I measured it on the seam allowance. So I'm just trying to adjust it back. Okay. So now I'm just going to infuse my waist circumference divided by 4 and then replace this dart. Notice that I'm not adding any seam allowance to this part and I'll be doing that when I'm cutting on the fabric. Okay, so I'm just going to extend this line like so. And then for our post dart, I'm going to be dividing these two points to get the midpoint and then we'll connect it to the mid our post point like so. so from this point you're going to come down by one inch and then we're taking half inch on both sides of the line and then we connect okay and this is going to be our post that coming over to the shoulder we're going to be coming down by one inch okay we're going to be cutting it off and replace it on the back okay okay this is because the back shoulder usually drops to the front for shirts okay and that is it now moving over to the back pattern okay the back is not going to have any zip so now we're going to be measuring our shoulder to post points 
then our back half length okay the back half length is usually somehow slightly shorter than the front so you need to take note of that okay so i'm just going to mark it just like so so next we're going to come over to our bust point come up by two inches to mark out our chest line okay We're going to be putting our shoulder, shoulder divided by two, and mark it like so. Basically, how we did it, what we did for the front. So the neck width is going to be two and a half, but the neck depth for the back is going to be one inch. Okay. So coming over to this place, I'm not going to be putting any dart for the back, okay? So I'm just going to measure our from both circumference divided by 4 and the waist circumference divided by 4. And then we finish like so. And also mark out our armhole, armhole curve. Coming over to the waist, we're going to be coming inwards by half an inch okay this will help the waist to relax properly okay so you're just going to connect it back like so so remember this one inch that we took out from the shoulder we're going to be replacing it on the back one okay so here i'm replacing it going up by one inch and just connect just like so this is going to make the back shoulder to fall to the front just like we usually see it on a shirt shirt dress or shirt regular shirt i'm also going to cut out this half inch that we took out from here so this is for the front this is for the button allowance and this is our back pattern okay so this is how the back is going to fall to the front when sewing so moving on we are going to be cutting the lower part okay so i'm just going to mark out this line which will serve as our waistline so for the front i'm going to be marking out the 2.5 inches for the button allowance as well The length of this dress is totally up to you okay you can make it up to your desired length okay so now to take our measurement we're going to be subtracting our half length the half length we're working with is 18 inches so i'm going to be subtracting it from this point okay and then we're going to mark our hip line hip line is 26 inches you can make yours 25 okay 26 inches and I mark out the knee line. I'm also doing the same thing over here. And I'm just going to connect it using a straight line, just like so. And I'm going to be repeating my waist circumference divided by four. And over here, I'm going to be marking my hip second frame divided by four. Please take note where our measurement is starting from, okay? So now, whatever I'll go for the hip, we're going to be subtracting one inch from it to mark on our knee line and down to the full length, okay? You can decide to subtract half an inch, okay? For this dress, you don't have to make that lower part to be too tapered, okay? So one inch is okay for me and then we'll connect everything just like so. Okay so right here I'm just making the lines bold because I noticed that it's a little bit faint. Okay and I'm just going to cut out. Notice that I'm not adding any seam allowance. I'll be doing that when I'm cutting on the fabric. 
okay so we're going to be using this pattern to also cut for the back we're just going to fold in the bottom other ones like so we're going to use it to cut for the back okay so right here i'm cutting out the back pattern just going to put the fabric on fold okay the back is not going to have any opening i'm going to put the fabric on hold i'm just holding it down with the pin and i'm adding my seam allowance okay for the side i added 1.5 and on the lower part i added two inches okay like i said the length of this dress totally depends on how long or how short you want it to be okay so so this is it i'm just notching the midpoint as you can see it's unfold next we are cutting our front okay remember to open up your button allowance when you're cutting it out so i'm just holding everything with pin and i'm adding my 1.5 seam allowance and two inches on this lower part and then we're just going to cut Okay, next is to cut the upper part this is the front okay i'm just adjusting my fabric to contain both the pattern and the same allowance i'll be added so here i'm cutting out i'm just adding my same allowance okay for 1.5 as well okay and i'm also adding half inch same allowance around my armhole okay and I'm notching the darts. Remember to notch your dart points, okay? And I also added half inch on the shoulder. And then the back as well i will be adding all my seam allowance okay around that back opening i'm adding half inch half inch seam allowance and on the sides also adding 1.5 half inch around my armhole and on my shoulder as well so here i'm done cutting out okay and i added all my same allowance as you can see okay so i'm going to be uploading the sewing part of this dress in my next video okay thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment and subscribe bye